In this History Illustrated video, we're going to cover the five major circles of latitude, also known as the five major lines of latitude, or as the nickname, parallels. The first one we're going to cover is arguably the most important and most well known. It's called the equator. In a previous video, we discussed how lines of latitude run around the Earth sideways, and they measure how far north or south something is. But what if you are not north or south? What if you're directly in the middle of the Earth? Well, then you are on the equator. So these lines are drawn around the Earth for the purpose of measuring, not just for fun. So we start measuring from the very middle. And we determine the middle by measuring halfway down the Earth from the top and from the bottom of the axis. We also covered the word axis in a previous video too. Check that one out if you need to. The equator is the name we give to this line that cuts the Earth in half. The origin of the word comes from the ancient Latin meaning to equalize day or night. Notice the similarity between the word equator and equalize. This means they have the equal amount of day or night in locations on the equator. Because the axis of the Earth is slightly tilted, as the Earth goes around the Sun, we get seasons. When the top part of the Earth is tilted towards the Sun, it is summer. When that part is tilted away from the Sun, that is winter. But because the equator is in the middle, it gets sunlight no matter what. That brings us to two more very important lines of latitude, the tropics. There are two lines of latitude on the Earth, one north of the equator and one south of it. They are located 23 and a half degrees above and below the equator. That is an odd number, I know. But there is a reason why those lines were placed right there. This odd location was chosen because of the tilt of this axis. During the summer in the northern part of the world, the Earth leans towards the sun. That means the equator dips a little bit lower and is not directly pointed to the sun, but 23 and a half degrees is pointed directly at it. This line of latitude is now getting all of the direct sunlight like the equator normally does. The northern part of the world does the opposite in the winter, which means the southern line is pointing directly at the sun. So the line north of the equator is called the Tropic of Cancer, and the line below is called the Tropic of Capricorn. Everything between these two lines are typically just called the tropics. And if they are known for anything, it's that they are warm, as we said get direct sunlight all year long. When discussing sunlight and lines of parallel, we would be wrong to end the discussion here because there are two more parallels that are also very important. These are the Arctic and Antarctic circles. These are the top and bottom of the world. Once again, these lines are created because of the tilt of the Earth's axis. The northern one is called the Arctic circle and it's a line that marks how much sunlight reaches it during the summer or winter months. So if it is summertime, in the north, the Arctic Circle leans towards the sun so much that it spends some time where the sun never goes down. That means the sun will be in the sky at midnight. The opposite of this is true as well. During the winter, the Arctic Circle points away from the sun, and it will spend some time where the sun does not come up at all, which means it will be dark at noon. The Antarctic Circle works the exact same way as the Arctic Circle, just on an opposite schedule. So in conclusion, you have five major lines of latitude. Those are the equator in the very middle of the Earth, the tropics, both north and south, the Tropic of Cancer in the north and the Tropic of Capricorn in the south. And on the top and bottom of the world, we have the Arctic and the Antarctic Circles.